guys, it's your team back from another video. So today I'm going to be doing a review on set seven five two two nine, the Death Star Escape. This is from A New Hope, and it has three hundred twenty nine pieces. Retails for twenty nine and nine. I think it's gonna be retiring soon, so if you want to get it, pick it up soon. And you can get it on clearance for like twenty three ninety nine at like Target or like twenty one ninety nine. Walmart, same, basically the same thing. Includes three minifigures, uh, Stormtrooper, Luke Skywalker, Leia, and then if you want to count this little mouse droid right here, little mouse droid, if you want to count that. And I'm going to be trying like new techniques, so they tell me what you think about it. The Photoshop was thumbnail, no, well, the, thumb, the thumbnail was Photoshopped. I had the pen to have them sticking up like that. But I photoshopped it, so tell me how I did on that. And, yeah. Let's go into the minifigures, which I have a new minifigure stand for, which I made a tutorial on. But, yeah. Let's go into the minifigures. The minifigure we have is the mouse droid. Of course, small. Because I go around with the mouse droid. It's almost like a mouse because it's so small. But, just wanted to include it because it's an extra thing you get on the set. So, yeah. Let's go into actual first minifigure, which is Luke's character. Here we have Luke. So, as you can see, it's, like, basically the same torso printing, except he has, like, a new belt right there. And then he also comes with, like, the traditional lightsaber. And then, you turn him around. His face is different. I'm going to do a comparison. This one versus the Cantina, well, most likely a Cantina Luke. And look at the differences. Because it has a different face, and I think it's pretty good. And I, well, this one, I think this one's better. And then it also has, like, a new belt piece. And then it also has this little hook thing for accessory that you could attach onto his back. But we'll show what that could do later with Princess Leia and the actual, like, play feature of the set. So, yeah, let's go on to Princess Leia. Next. Here we have Princess Leia. She's pretty rare. This is my first Princess Leia because, like, she comes in most expensive sets. And I don't really have that many expensive Star Wars sets. So, yeah, and I think she also comes in the Tanty, I'm pretty sure. She comes with those blasters, which these never don't come in battle packs anymore, but so it's nice to get them outside of, like, the battle packs instead of stud shooters. See, she has, like, some robes, a belt, and then it has, like, the f female, like, torso, like, dip into it. And then she has her bombs on the side, and then on the back, she has her hood, and then she has, like, an alternate, like, angry expression. And I really like the belt, how it's, like, detailed like that. And, yeah. This is the only figure I needed to complete my origi original trilogy, well, like, collection. Because I had, like, every all, all the main characters besides her, so it's nice to add her to my collection. Now let's go into the final minifigure, which is the Stormtrooper, and then let's get into the set after that. Here we have the Stormtrooper. He comes with the same um, helmet mode as these guys from the, uh, what's it called? There's like a drop ship, so it's the same one from that. And the printing's basically the same. Blaster's the same. Uh, see, it's like the dual molded helmet. There, right there. Has the same blaster as Princess Leia. Basically, a normal Stormtrooper printing and then an angry clone face. But yeah, let's go on to the actual set and the play features of the set. So. Yeah, let's get into that, right? So here we actually have the set itself. So if you take this off, because this is detachable, you can see it just has that right there. But, yeah. So, see? There's a spot you can put the mouse right in, so you could just put that in there. And then there's also, like, control panel right there. But let's go into the look at, like, this, because this is, like, the main portion of the set. So, well, let's just look at the little tower first, because that's, like, smaller. So, there's, like, a ladder to get up, like that. And then there's a play feature right there. And then there's also, well, it just fell off, but, yeah. So, there's a spot. Oh, I'm going to lift my phone. So, there's a spot right there. You can put the Stormtrooper. And then when you turn this knob, it pops off. Show you what it looks like on the other side. Yeah. So it just looks like that. It's almost like it's a forge push. But yeah, it's another play feature. You could put this back on right there. That. Now to put it back on the stand. And then basically the main feature of the set, I'm gonna set it up real quick. You could have this extension thing, like, have Leia, Luke and Leia, like, 
go across the th the what's it called the, like the bridge because it was not it's, op it's not opening. So you just set that up on the loop right there. So we're just gonna move that back, and then take Leia's hand, and then we're gonna reverse it like that, and then you're just gonna put it right there like that. So then you have her attached to him. So then you the whole point of it is you put it like. Well, the bridge could also pull out, so it's supposed to be like that. And then the butt because the button wasn't working. And then you're supposed to use it to like swing across, but pretty cool. Just have it swing. If you swing it too much it'll fall. And then the mechanism it's like atta it's attached to, so I'm just gonna hold my phone. You just like put it right there while I Put it, you lock it into like center of like that center and then you could like swing it you also have this door right here which could function you just press down and then the gate it falls and then you could raise it up again and then lock it in place and then you could also use the bridge you could push the bridge back and forth you could go like you could just push it across and then once you push it across it's like locked together but yeah, and you can see like the main, oh, I shouldn't take that off, main gate like right there. And then here's the function well, of it falling down, like going down from like this angle. So it just goes down. You kind of have to push it down a little bit. And then the other side, it's not that very appealing on that side. I'd say if you're going to display it, well, I guess we're probably going to do. If you're going to display it, I'd say display it from this angle. Don't do it from this angle, I'd do it from like this angle. But it has this like red exposed, so I just say expo um, display on this angle. So yeah, that's basically it for this set. It was well again, it was thirty dollars, so I got it for like about like twenty three, so it's a pretty good deal for three hundred twenty nine pieces. And then I'm gonna show you the box size. It's a little bit bulkier than like a normal Star Wars box. So I'll just take my phone off the stand. No, yeah, it's not right there. So you can see. It's basically the box. You have the Stormtrooper, Princess Leia, and the mouse right right there. It shows him swinging, him shooting stuff. And then it says Death Star Escape, 329 The price of piece is actually pretty good. And then you flip it around. It shows you all the features you could do, like move it, bunt, send him flying, close the gate, pull that out. And then on the top, it shows you the actual side of Luke. And then it shows you like the scene, like the scene right there. And then there's an advertisement for Lego, um, Lego. I don't really use it, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, I'm going to rate this set, I'm going to rate it, um, probably 7 out of 10. I actually wish to, like, fix this up, because it kind of looks like, maybe use, like, gray for it, because it doesn't really look that appealing. Because you have all this, like, maybe leave that, but change that to gray, because it doesn't really look that appealing. And, yeah. This could go also go wrong with like a, there's like a Death Star set with Obi Wan from that came out like October fourth, which is on sale. Well, I think it's at the same price, but it's on sale now, so you could get it for on sale. But yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.